Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, on the 3rd of September, everybody, my female Parabuthus transvelicus, freshly malted, and I think it's time to give her a feed. Uh, it's been nearly three weeks since she uh, malted. I didn't realise uh, it was that long. So you can see an empty enclosure in the uh, video there. So I'm going to rehouse her a little bit later. I want to give her a feed first. So I'm going to be giving her a Mario worm or super worm, whatever you want to call them. And uh, let's see if she's hungry. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. My freshly malted Parabuthus transvelicus. And uh, that's uh, one scorpion you don't want to get stung by. Look at that tail. It's absolutely huge. So while we're here, everybody, let's uh, grab a Mario worm. There goes, everyone. Should get a sting. Oh, whoa! You're in a good fight with it. So I just took my phone off the tripod. I think in bit of a better shot for you guys. Uh, I had a little feeling she was going to be hungry, especially after nearly three weeks. And with these, with a venom level five, it doesn't take long for the uh, Mario worm to die. So it could take a while for her to eat this meal. Um, it could take, you know, a couple of hours, could take four, six hours, <laughs> it all depends. As you can see, it looks like the worm's nearly dead already. So that's an even closer shot for you guys. And you can see her clisori now moving around, trying to find a, a part to eat the meal. So that one sting there looks like it's done the job. And the Mario worm. Looks like it's uh, not going to be alive much longer. So what I'll do is now, guys, I'll leave her to eat her meal. And once she's finished, I'll give her a rehouse. So everyone, as it's just said, 24 hours later, and the Mario worm has been uh, devoured. And the water dish is completely uh, empty. The water has uh, evaporated and the scorpions inside its hide so as I've shown you earlier there's the enclosure I'm going to be rehousing it in and uh, let's get started so let's uh, put the sand in uh, like I said earlier I'm going to be using that sand that's in this smaller enclosure as well uh, yeah that's perfectly fine well, let's just uh, Quickly just spread that out a little bit. There we go. So I'll just uh, quickly get the water dish. So I've decided to use a bigger water dish. Now the scorpion's malted and gone a bit bigger. So I'll fill that uh, with water a bit later. So let's just put the two enclosures together. Slowly, carefully lift the hide up. And there's a scorpion there, so I'll put that in the in the corner. That's perfectly fine. So with this scorpion, I'm going to use my large spoon, and hopefully it's going to be good and get inside its new enclosure. There we go. That was perfectly fine, and it's gone straight into its hide. So with all this sand here, I can. Just put it around the enclosure. And there we go, everybody. That was nice and easy, and it can dig down a little bit. So, yeah, um, it took me a while to do this video. And as you know, I started doing the video yesterday, and it took a while for that uh, Mario worm to be eaten. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.